Hey everybody, Matteo here and I welcome you again in my little garage. Today I want to show you a few upgrades and modifications on my Cameo MF01X chassis. The Mercedes-Benz G320 Cabrio came on this chassis. As first, let me explain what I like to do. These dock tempers without oil makes the suspension very bouncy. To improve this, I'll install the CVA Super Mini Shocks. To reduce friction and make it easier rollable, I have these ball bearings here. And the biggest modification is this long span suspension upgrade for MF01X chassis from Yair Racing. It gives a complete new suspension, everything in aluminium. The advantage should be a bigger movement range of the suspension. I'm very excited how it works. I've already started and disassembled the rear suspension and gearbox to install the ball bearings. At this point I want to do another modification. I want to lock the rear differential gear to get a better traction on the ground. As first I have to open the diff with these three screws. Now to lock it I use this two component epoxy putty. I take a small slice and knead it until all is in the same color. As next I model a small worm and cut it in three pieces with the same size. I have to hurry a bit because once mixed the putty will harden in about five minutes. I make a ball of every piece, insert them and press it between the cone gears in the diff. As last, I close the diff cover. Now the diff is locked and ready to reinstall in the gearbox. As you can see, all the ball bearings are already installed. This is the front gearbox and here you can see the steering servo. Here I found another issue to fix. The servo saver produces a lot of play and because of this the steering accuracy will be bad. As first I shorten a bit this piece on the servo horn. Then I use super glue to put the parts together. I do the same with the upper part. The result looks fine, much less play. All the gearboxes are reassembled and I'm ready now for the suspension. As first, let's have a closer look what's inside the box. Some stickers, the parts and the manual. All the parts are well sorted and sealed in bags. The quality of these aluminum parts is really impressive. These are all parts for the front suspension. I'm ready now to put it together. Here it is. It was not a big deal. The manual explains it good. And now installed on the chassis. As you can see, the movement of the suspension arms is very good. You can see here the special mounting position of the suspension arms on the C-hops. This construction gives the longer arms and spawn. These are the parts for the rear suspension. 
assembled and here installed on the chassis. The movement looks good on the rear also. Only one thing I had to modify a bit. I had to cut off a bit on this part here to have enough place for the ball joint. But it's not a big problem, it's only a small cover of the rear gearbox. So the suspension is finished and the next step are the dampers. I used the three hole pistons to get it soft. And instead of this white damper oil included in the set, I'll use this red, soft, Tamiya silicon damper oil. Red is the softest one available. On the bottom of the dampers I have to use the short ball connectors for this chassis. Be sure to use a towel or something when you hold the piston and screw on the ball connectors. Otherwise it's possible to damage the piston. Now I fill in the oil. First only half. Move and turn slowly the piston to remove air bubbles. And then fill complete. Add the green rubber cap and close the top. The dampers are finished and ready to install. I use the original golden balls from Tamiya to install it. It works very smooth. On the rear, I use these small spacers under the ball connectors to install the dampers on a good position. Also, the rear suspension works very well. As next I prepare the tires. I like to use these off-road tires from MST. These are a bit bigger and softer than the original Tamiya tires. I think it should improve the off-road capabilities of the car. Now, I think the chassis have a much different appearance than before. And I'm really impressed how good the suspension work and the improvement compared with the stock setup. By the way, let's make a comparison with my stock MF01X from the chimney. I think you can see the difference and I can say the modified one feels much smoother. So if you have a MF01X and looking for a good upgrade, I can recommend this long span suspension from Yeah Racing. After I lifted up a bit the body, it fits well and I think it looks not bad at all. A running video coming soon so stay tuned to see it. Subscribe to my channel if you not already have and a thumbs up for this video will be highly appreciated. Well, I say thanks for watching and see you next time.